It's recording now. Is it going? Okay. Oh my goodness. My goodness. I know. Okay. Hey, hey guys. Hey guys. Denise, Danette, Perry Hill Farms. Welcome back to our episode seven of Double Troubles Weekend Review. We're so glad you're with us. We missed you last week. We sure did. And we're in a different location. We are in a different well, location. As you can see behind us. Our we, little farm office. Farm office slash stock room. Stock room guest area. Yes. Right, this is where the magic happens. It's where every every single day. Every, every single day. Every single day. So we've been away for a few weeks and so we want to come well, back to we have, you. We have been we, here. We have been so busy. Busy, 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 busy. And we but, always say busy. We do. But we do. not in a bad way. But uh, we want to give you an update of what's going happening on the farm. Um, most of our produce that we've planted um, has been harvested. The only thing that we have left is our habaneros and jalapenos. Our habanero pepper plants, jalapenos, and oh, and this week Eric found. Remember, he came in with the uh, something that he had been looking for for years, and I mean, it's multiplying onions. So he planted some multiplying onions. So he came in. He found some on one on his route at one of the mm -hmm. stores. And so he came home and he has multiplying onions. He shared them with the neighbors. Yes. Um, he's planted them all over the farm. Yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. So, yeah. Right. The boys plowed the garden. Most of the garden's been plowed. We finished our white peas. They've been harvested. We got how many bags? Almost 100 quarts. We'll say quarts because we mm -hmm. canned some in quarts and, we, and then we froze some. And we, I think we like the frozen better. And mm -hmm. I think that's just because of how we were raised. Right, right. Um, we did not get a video out to you last week and it was just simply because we were tied up with family. Oh my goodness. Um, so, uh, but uh, we finished harvesting that week after our sixth episode. Um, right. We, we had started, family that, that first weekend because yeah, we had family was in town. Fourth of July weekend and then we had a market that we did and that was great time of fellowshipping with people and then we prepped the whole week for our family coming into town. Now my baby girl, most of you don't might not know, is getting married in September, eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, my sweet sister decided her and some of our wonderful family, her daughter in law, daughter, I hate the, my daughter in law, our neighbor um, all went in and um, threw her a beautiful little tea party shower. PJ shower. We call it a PJ shower. Pajama shower at this little tea house in town. And they did a brunch uh, last weekend. And her. boy, did Miss Mildred outdo herself on the food. It was she delicious. sure did. It she was. sure did. It was great. But all the girls wore sundresses and, and sun, sun hats. hats. It was so cute. It really was. It, it was. Really was. But we thought, well, while we're doing that, maybe <laughs> family's going to come into town. Sorry, sister. Um, why don't we go ahead? My mother's birthday was that weekend too. She right. turned 75 years old. Our mother, sorry. Yeah. And so we thought, well, if all the family's going to be here, let's go ahead and kill two birds with one stone. Why? <laughs> what were we thinking? Anyway, it was not. Two huge it was, events. It was two huge events. So we did throw a big 75th birthday party for my mom I guess here you on could, the farm. I guess you could look at it though in, in two ways. You could say, wow, what were we thinking? Or, wow, we just got them knocked out. And we just it didn't we, spread out over a time period. Sure, we sure did. We got knocked out. So we had family come in from out of town. Our um, Florida family. My sweet mama had almost every one of her grandchildren and right. um, children here. We were missing a daughter-in-law, two, two grandbabies, and a nephew. And that would have been absolutely everybody. everybody. Well, uh, there was a couple that was invited that didn't come, some cousins, but... She would have had everybody here um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for her birthday, but that's okay. We had a ton of people here, and the rain came. It didn't spoil our We our still did it. We moved it. We just we moved, moved it to the carport. To our carport. We were just a little bit closer. We were. And so Perry Hill that weekend, like out, we had family come in starting th that Thursday night. To Danette House, some at her house, some at my mom's house. And you had yours? I had my son and daughter-in-law here. It was just a house. The house is full of activity. Perry Hill was beaming. It was beaming with a lot of activity. We have some great nephews and um, nieces that uh, were here that we don't get to see on a regular basis. No, and it no, was no. so much fun. We did. We had fun. And um, the the Florida babies, those boys, they always look forward to coming to the Alabama, Alabama farm. farm. Is what they call I want to go to Alabama. Mm -hmm. You know, and so uh, mom and dad 
they came and brought them, and boy, they loved to fish. They did. I, so I they the, would spend the first cast that they threw when they got here because they've been begging their day to fish, and it was kind of in the middle of the day, so the fish don't bite that great. Yeah. We say, yeah. Um, but first oh, cast, too. it was hot. It was hot. Yeah. So, uh, my nephew threw the the first cast, and boy, did he catch a huge, huge bass, bass for Sawyer, little Sawyer. He was just elated over that. Catching that, so then well, that just fed the fire even more. They would, right. Every time they would wake up, they'd be out there in the PJs in the morning. Early How cute! Morning. Or they, we got pictures of them. We, you know, we didn't do any video up for no. the YouTube channel while they were here. We were just just soaking up every moment. But I just think of them, little Sutton walking around in his. They brought their muck boots and their PJs without their shirt, shirt on or something, and they were just, they were so cute, and we. I tell you what, and I, yeah, and I wish we could spend more time with them. Yeah. It's just hard. We all live such busy lives. Yeah. And, um, and our other great nephew uh, Maddox and his sister so Alexis, were here. they were here. They, came. And they had so much fun on right. the bouncy house. Oh so man, like him Maddox and Levi built a little fort and other car, other carport. And you know, those are the cousins the, that are here in town together, and they don't get to see each other often. But they love each other. They actually have uh, birthdays that are four days apart. Yeah, they were born four days apart. Mm -hmm. Levi was on the fort, uh, 10th yeah. and, and Maddox is on the 14th. 14th. But right. they they just had the best time. And I'll tell you, those are memories. You well, that was our home. hope. I mean, that was our, our hope is that, that we could create memories for our families to look back on pleasant memories. And right. I, and uh, we did. I think yeah. we accomplished our goal. It was a great weekend. So we didn't do anything but celebrate that weekend. Celebrate my sweet Sarah. And maybe we'll post a picture of her so you can see her in her little sun hat. She's Absolutely. a doll baby. Yes. And um, it's celebrating our mother at 75 years old. It was just wonderful. But I tell you, anytime our Florida family comes, they want to shop in our our market <laughs> and the shelves look full right now that's because we've spent this week restocking because we our florida long. family blessed us so they did they come in and bought well brother come them. in we call him brother brother and we call our other sister we call each other it's either sister or brother we don't ever hardly call them by the name if we call them by their name then they're in trouble right mm -hmm. or we're, we're in trouble right and so anyway brother came in and he already had an order that people, friends yes. from Florida, had said, when you go to Bama, we need, and he he, he blessed us. He walked out of here with a ton yes. of yes. stuff. I'm thankful that we had it on, now, on, on the The shelf. funny story is, is we make barbecue sauce, and we don't we sell, don't sell that, that because that, that's some prized possession. I mean, at one point, we might start, but I don't know, sister. We got so, look at all this product behind us on our, I know. on our, but um, we don't sell say. it. But okay, so what my mother wanted for her birthday was um, smoked by just Boston but smoked meat on the new smokehouse that uh -huh. my husband built. If you haven't seen that video, find the uh -huh. seven part series and watch that on the, him building that smokehouse. Phenomenal job my right. husband did. Right. But she wanted some more smoked meat on that thing. She loved it, and so he put eight Boston butts on there and smoked on that Friday night. And, um, and then Saturday, and then so we got to enjoy some of our barbecue sauce, and everybody who tasted it said it was great. And our so six, that was, my brother, he took six jars home. Oh, a him. barbecue sauce a home. Barbecue sauce. Everybody, I think, got a, a jar of barbecue sauce. Well, we kind of um, like this so we got to make some more. I think some of the family was like, wait a minute, we didn't get barbecue sauce. I was like, okay, hold on just a minute. <laughs> so I made so sure the, everybody went home with barbecue sauce. I, right. I heard from my daughter-in-law, and she said Caleb had... had already wiped out about half of that jar of barbecue sauce right. and sent and so our older sister she was in charge of all the pastas and the some sal salads some salads she did a great job on that she, that stuff was so good oh my god cucumber salad um, corn, salad, corn, corn, corn these salad. are all things mother loves yes. we tried to make it mm -hmm. to what she she had requested and mm -hmm. man Mm -hmm. When she cooks, she cooks for an army, doesn't she? She sure does. Did we waste any? No, it didn't get, not get wasted. What we ate, we ate as much as we possibly could over the next several days, and what didn't get ate got fed to the hogs. Oh, to... okay, so we'll eat it later. Yeah, so it, it was not a total waste, okay. for sure. And then, of course, she requested homemade sour cream blueberry pound cake and then the regular sour cream pound cake. And homemade ice cream. And homemade ice cream. That was the dessert. Which was a big hit. She loved that. Oh, that my week. goodness. Yeah. So, great weekend with family members and and enjoying that time, making memories with them. But then it was Monday morning, hit the floor, running to restock because we have markets today and tomorrow. Yeah, because we haven't gone to any of our, we haven't done any of our local markets in two weeks. 
So because yeah, we had some big, we've had big events and things going on. So we have been busy for restocking our shelf here for markets, but also we have a friend who who put in a request for three hundred and sixty jars of jams and jellies. Uh, yeah, so we made. We've been making 360 jars of jams and jellies for her, for her business, to give out to her customers. And so, we'll be delivering that stuff today. Yeah, we got, we'll have to go deliver it to her so shortly. It has been a busy week doing that. But, wait, I, but it's in the kitchen. And people go, how do you stay in the kitchen all the time? But we love it. So, for two days, for now, two or three days, my stove has been on nonstop. But, if you ask us at the end of the day... We right. whooped by the end of the day. We, we are. Nobody has to rock us to sleep. No, 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 no. But um, anyway, um, did we already talk about the other new stuff? We, got, we said something about the onions. Oh, figs. Did we say anything about figs? No. The figs are in. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to get some fig jams. People have been requesting fig jam around so we here. Got fig preserves and raspberry figs. Those, those are in, absolutely. Beautiful, um, beautiful. But anyway, so... Busy, busy week. We have had to start caring for our mother over the last. Excuse me, last week she bless her heart. She has a bad hip and she does. It's gonna need surgery, and so we've just been taking care of her. Well, we don't want her to be alone. I, whoa, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's kind of embarrassing. Our friend keeps hanging around. He the just kind of kissed me on my cheek. <laughs> Lord have mercy. If you live in the south. Um, and you have animals on your farm, you know, there's not a single thing. We've got fly traps everywhere. Right. And, um, you can't, you're going to have flies and uh, we did the best we can to keep the doors closed, but my goodness, yeah. boy, that one kissed me right on my, that's He's disgusting. sitting right over there. I see him. So, oh, and our little, we did a short on it yesterday. Oh, our visit to the, to the barn. I, we're always, we've always said this before. We always walk into that barn with caution. The rabbit barn. Into the rabbit barn. Because every morning we go and we make sure we, we feed the goats. We check the rabbits because it's summertime. We got to make sure everybody has water. Mm -hmm. You know, the pigs have water to slop in. And, and everything's fed. In the morning times, it's cooler. It's just best. And the guys mm -hmm. will check on them in the evening and make sure they still have it. And um, anyway, yesterday morning, I walked into the barn, rabbit barn. And I, I'm always looking up. Never really expecting anything, but then hoping for hope, nothing. Hoping for nothing, and um, I just felt this presence come upon me. And down toward the end, I see a little head looking at me, and I'm like, "It's small enough to be a mm -mm. lizard, but it looks like a snake." And upon further investigation, <laughs> I'm just getting the jeebies thinking about it. We I, had a little. Now, I, I'm, I'm, I know they serve a purpose, and they're in there to get little rats. I'm yeah. fine with that because I don't like rats either. Yes, eat all the mice you want to eat. But why do they got to come to my space? Why not wait till I'm coming? Just stay hit enough we don't see you. No. Yeah, just stay okay, hit enough maybe, we don't maybe, see you. Okay. Well, whatever. He was. He's but probably I, I been in there. Was, I know, but he's I probably knew, been in there. When you know he's there, that's. So he probably was a golly. What do you think? That long? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because I don't do snakes. I wouldn't even go in the barn. She was not brave. I'm, and I'm I call me a chicken all you want. Balk, balk. I am not going in there with no snakes. So I had to brave up mm -mm. and go in there. Luckily, I had picked up the single time hoe, hey. and I could kind of tap the water bottle in the last cage, and it was full. And we noticed the rabbits were eating out of their bowl, so I didn't have to walk under him. Now, I did have to go close to get some feed for the rabbits down this side. Mm -mm. But I, you want to talk about watching. But he was watching me the whole time, and he wasn't moving. But, but just mm -hmm. the thoughts of, you know, you've seen those videos where, where snakes drop out of the sun. <laughs> That's what I did to that, me going near him and him just dropping off that. Off the top so of she him. wanted to kind of replant him. I wasn't gonna kill him in the past. I would kill him, but no, I just wanted him to move on. And so I got that single time hoe. When he starts moving though, and he started struck. He said yes, and he fell into on the ground inside the barn, the rabbit barn. If you know it, we have this this tin line in the wall on this side. And he fell down. I was hoping to get him outside. <gasps> he didn't. He fell on the inside. Oh, dear. Mm. And needless to say, I dropped the hoe and took off running. She took off running. She ran out. And I ran and out. And then we couldn't find then him. Then we couldn't find him anymore. So he's out there. So we nominated Jace this morning. Jace is out there this morning. He was... He does not like snakes. Mm -mm. In fact, I think one time when he saw, saw, saw one, 
he uh, shot, he had his pistol on his hip and he shot a hole through the roof. <laughs> I'm all for Bernie. He came in this morning and he was like, why? 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 You didn't find this? I said, no, I didn't find the snake. I'm all for burning the barn down. I'm just, That's what Lauren, Lauren, said, Lauren said. Torch it. Lauren said, torch it. She said, torch it. Torch it. And yeah. Okay. But then we'd have to, we couldn't save all the rabbits. Because we had, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> anyway. So, needs to say, we'll get, it's going to be interesting when he comes back in. We'll see what the, if he found the thing. Right. Going. Right. But, um, so that's pretty much how our, our weeks have gone. I know, and we had some uh, people wanting to come get product that from out of town that could we could, and we were so busy wrapped up, and um, maybe we'll work on another time where they can come and get some product and stuff like that. But anyway, it's time to wind it up, sister, and we gotta do some fun facts. And I thought, since we are twins, that I would do fun facts about twins. In case you didn't know, some interesting yes. facts about twins. So let's just okay. share. Well, first of all, if you don't know that Danette and I are identical twins. Right. Um, there are no twins in our family mm -hmm. anywhere on either side. And when I went to the doctor with my pregnant with my son, I asked him about having twins, and he said, "Are you identical?" And I said, "Yes, sir." He said, "Well, identical twins are not hereditary." hereditary. Um, so, like. With fraternal twins, there is a gene that's passed in the mother or the father. I can't remember ever, ever remember which one it is. It's the and, mother. That's one of the fun facts. Okay, with the mother, and um, she always with um. Release, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Releases it's, two eggs. It's, it's kind of we're going to get into uh, science. Science now. Okay, um, so but for identical twins is one egg. I was talking about that. That's the one of the interesting facts. I know. It's one of the interesting facts, but it goes into the scientific, but there's also a third third term I was going to introduce that I had no idea, sister. Okay, sure. Go okay, sister. so did you know, sister, mm -hmm. that dogs can tell the difference between identical twins? I believe it. Our dogs might could tell us apart, sure. You know how they do that? Yeah, smell. It's a, it's a scent. I, absolutely. It's a mm -hmm. scent, so they mm -hmm. know. Um, now, this is interesting, and one of the fun facts is that Twins can be, identical twins can be mirror opposites. And that's what Denise and I are. We're mirror opposites. Mm -hmm. um, this fact says that twins are more likely to be left-handed. Well, for us, I'm left-handed and she's right-handed, but I do, I write right-handed, but I'm dominant left hand as far as like right doing anything else, cutting, anything else. So, yeah. So, 10% of the, the general population is left-hand, but it's higher among twins. Mm -hmm. So, um, anyway, so that's, that's interesting. Um, and did you know that there's such a thing as semi, and this is where I was going to tell you, semi-identical twins. Mm -hmm. um, most everybody knows the, the two types, which is uh, identical and fraternal. Mm -hmm. um, and now here's the scientific term. I don't need the scientific name. Monozygotic mm -hmm. is the identical and... Dizygotic. No, dizygotic, because that would be two, if, you're, mm -hmm. if you know medical terminology, is the fraternal. Um, those, um, and for, you know, uh, identical twins is one egg fertilized split. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll just go to leave it at that. Twins. Fraternal is two eggs fertilized. Um, um, but what about this other one? This quiz, this quiz hold, hold on. Identical twins share hundred percent of their gen genomes. Um, yeah. fraternal show 50%. Right. And this other it's, sesquizygotic. Sesqui, okay. It's S-E-S-Q-U-I-Z-Y-G-O-T-I-C. Okay, so these, they share a percentage in the middle somewhere. Um, and it's actually two eggs that get fertilized by uh, no, two different. One egg fertilized by two Oh. Firm. Oh, I didn't want to get splits. into this. Okay. So well. they have a 100% match of their mother's genes and some odd percentage match of their father's. Well, they're, they're like fraternal identical twins is what they call them. Mm -hmm. So isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? So I'm sorry if you're going to have to, if your kid's here and you got to start talking about birds and bees, but that, that's that's it. Mm -hmm. um, we already talked about uh, mirror twins. So, so for me and Denise, I'm... Right eye dominant, and you're left eye dominant. And I'm left eye dominant. Right, and mm -hmm. uh, so we are we are truly mirror mirror opposites. Mm -hmm. Um, um, let's see. 
the country that has the highest rate of twins is Africa. I thought mm -hmm. that was interesting. Wow. Um, twins that grow apart, they still have similar personalities. Well, we could we can vouch that when I moved away, when my husband was in college, uh, we would buy things very similar. Oh, the yeah. same exact shorts, purses. Yeah, I clothing. still remember those shorts. I do too. Yeah. yeah I do our too. friend still wants to be on our video today, I think. He sure does. Um, so, so um, anyway. So when we're apart, we do have opportunities where we we purchase things that are alike. We sound alike. Our voices sound, sound alike. alike. So a lot of people have a hard time telling us apart that we way. We can finish each other's thoughts. Yeah. Sentences. Um, twins socialize in the womb. Yeah. We always said we came in the world together. We're going out What's together. The, yeah. Well, she says she was kicking me out of the womb. I was first to be born, and she says she's behind me kicking me. <laughs> so, um... So we we do, um, and we speak our own language. I think I think that's probably true. Might be true. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, redneck. Uh, red <laughs> sister. Redneck. That's so funny. Um, oh, and this brought back to memory. We have a newspaper clipping of mom. Right, we were yeah. part of a twins club here in our in our city, and I can remember. Well, I don't remember that time, but seeing the newspaper clipping. Of all the twins in there, and now oh, we we, at, I don't remember going we to that probably, thing. We were young, too young to Two, remember. three, four, maybe even five. I don't even know if we're five years old. Anyway, but some of those twins in there we know now, and it's funny to look back at that. Right. Uh, we do have, I don't know how many sets of twins we know. Yeah. Um, so. So, that, so anyway, if you're ever interested in going to a uh, annual twins gathering, you can go to Twinsburg, Ohio every year, and uh, they do a... A Twins Day Festival. Double Take Parade. Not Double Trouble, but Double Take. <laughs> Tw a Twins Talent and Show. Yeah. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's see if we can find one more. Mothers of Twins Live Longer. That's awesome. The, so there you go, Mom. You're going to live longer. Mm -hmm. Right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, taller women are more likely to have twins. I don't know if that's true. Mom's not very tall. Well, she, yes, yeah, she was. She was tall, tall and slender when she was uh, pregnant. Um, eating dairy may boost your possibility of having twins. Okay. How does that play? Uh -huh. I don't know how that plays. I didn't read that too much. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. Um, fraternal twins come from the mother's genes. Right. We, we knew that. We studied that. Okay. Um, uh, twins' birth rates, they were high, higher for 30 years. They were on the rise and now they're dropping in the last five. I don't know why that is. Uh, probably mm -hmm. because people aren't having kids as much. That's probably the case yeah, of me. Um, uh, Stanford University has its own twin registry. One can... more fun fact. Let's see if I find a good one. I don't, yeah. I don't want to be known as a scientific experience. Okay, so being that, we just released the new James Webb. James Webb satellite that brought back images from far, 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 far away in space. That was well, pretty this cool. Will be our, this will be our last fact. One identical twin was even sent to space for a year for the sake of science. And so let's see, NASA wanted to better Scott understand- Kelly and Mark Kelly. Uh-huh, wanted to understand the effects of long-term space travel on the human body. So they have identical pair of twin astronauts, right? The results shows that found that Scott had some significant changes to his body after spending nearly a year in space, some of which extended from months, months of, after his return. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there was a little effect. So that's. That's the last fact. But yeah. Yeah, twins, nice. very neat. Yeah. Neither not Danette or I or any of our siblings had twins. Not. Um, so we'll see how it goes on down in our family. See if any of our kids. See if any of our kids have twins. Because, so. well, I know my daughter's done, but Jason Lauren are, and Caleb and Megan one day may, and mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Sarah and her yeah. fiance at one point. Who right. knows? We'll Who see knows? where it goes. Who but, knows? But anyway. That is our weekend two weekend review, <laughs> right? So right. we've um, got to deliver all this product to our friends. We got to deliver our product to our friends, and we go back the to market. the head of market today in Ashford Market tomorrow, which I've missed terribly. Yeah, and so, so and then uh, start getting our garden prepped and ready, our right. rice beds ready for new products to go in to the ground to grow more stuff for the fall. That's exactly right. So um, we appreciate you watching our little podcast of us just chatting <laughs> we hope you enjoy it like and subscribe follow our videos that we're posting 
Um, mm -hmm. We had some come out this week that were. Oh yeah, they got to see us work on the electric fence, and the you, that was your grumpy one. That was my grumpy one. I was yeah. grumpy. I'll have to. Yeah. I haven't watched it yet. I did. I watched it. We got to do better on uh, commentary. We kind of get hung up in what we're doing and forget to talk. Yeah. But that's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. It is a learning, learning process. It is a process. But we thank you for following us so much. And we, we just pray God's blessings upon you. Absolutely. And um, hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. 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 That's, that's exactly right. God bless mm -hmm. each and every one of you. All right. Bye-bye. Okay.